Welcome to another edition of Ask an Oiler presented by Ford. Today we're joined by a guy that's uh, known as much for his shock blocking ability as he is for his quick wit and humor is uh, how I'll, I'll say it. Is that fair, Laddie? Ladislav Schmid joins us. Laddie, is that yes. fair? Is a good way to put it? Fair statement, yes. Thanks for having me, having me, by the way. Thanks for uh, being on the program. So we're going to ask a bunch of questions that fans have been submitting over the last week okay. or so, and uh, we'll try to get the best answers we can out of you. Ready to do this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You sound confident. Always. you got to be confident <laughs> you know, in this business. You know? <laughs> All right, here we go. We'll start right now. Uh, TJ in Brampton asks, you are leading the league in block shots with 56. That's nine more than second place Brent Seabrook. Seabrook. Uh, what did you work on during the off-season to become that shutdown defenseman people have been waiting for you to become? What I work on, you know, first of all, I, I had finally I had the, like the full summer to to you know to do my strength and stuff like that. Then I then I kind of started earlier on on the ice than usually. You know, I started like mid mid uh, July and I just work on my uh, skating abilities. You know, I, I I work on like a defensive my my defensive side of the, my game and you know. Uh, I guess it helped me. You know, I didn't really do anything special about uh, blocking shots. You know, just I, I'm just trying to do. You know, trying to. Uh, if, if I see a open guy and he's got a, like a clear shot, I'm trying to get into the line. But I didn't do any special drills on that in off, in off season. Does it help having this is your sixth year in the league now, and you, you kind of figure out tendencies from certain guys? Does that kind of help too? You know, you're you're comfortable and you have that confidence in knowing what maybe some offensive guys are doing. Oh, for sure. You know, like you. Especially from our division or from our conference, you know, you, you get to know guys from the other team, so that helps. And plus, watching the other other players, you know, on our team or different teams, the guys who are really good and you know, shutting down people, you know, uh, great shot blocker on our team, you know, and this sudden, you know, he's uh, always in the lane, you know, he, he's got a big body, he knows how to uh, block shots. So I, I'm trying to watch him too, and it helps. Absolutely, and it's shown on uh, your stat sheet. Thanks. All right, next question comes from Amon in Edmonton. What's the worst spot to take a puck off of when you're blocking so many shots? And uh, I guess which bruises uh, last the longest or hurt the most? Oh, I know. Obviously, the worst place to take it is your face. You know that that <laughs> that's not uh, that's not good. But uh, you know, like inside of your of your knee hurts a lot. Uh, your ribs hurt. Uh, that, that I would I would say like anywhere on your on your on your feet hurts mm -hmm. a lot. You know, we, now we are uh, you know wearing those uh, shot blockers. They called, you know, they, they help a big time. But when you get it on the inside of your knee, it, it, that's pretty, pretty hurtful. And, and it, you know, it, it, it hurts for a long time, actually. Uh, where have you found that uh, you've taken the most shots and ended up with the most bruises so far this year? This year, my, yeah, my, uh, I got on my, on my legs, like somewhere like on my inside of my knee or, right. or on my quads, you know, from the side. It's softer padding yeah in that softer area padding too. there yeah for sure you know it's, it's not that well protected because you you got to be able to move you know with your pants so you know, it's <laughs> it, it hurts you know for a bit but you know after that it feels great you can still skate and play yeah. right so okay uh this is we're gonna stay with the shot blocking thing because you are the leading shot blocker in the league um what is the proper and safest way to block a shot especially given the recent tragedy involving a young minor hockey player in Edmonton that comes from Jeff and Red Deer. Oh it's it's hard to you know it's hard to say what is the proper way you know uh, it's it's all I think it's lots of it is uh, the experience you know uh you know when I was younger I you know tried to block the shots but you're not really in, in the lane and sometimes you 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 misread the the situation and you you kind of overslide uh, over, overslide and you're ended up, you know, facing the, the the blade of the other player, you know. Right. So that's that's pretty dangerous, you know. So you know, it. I think the biggest thing is the experience, you know. Now, you know, my sixth sixth year in the league, and I, I think I'm, I'm more experienced. Still working on it, you know. Still, you know, I'm st still trying to develop some some of my skills, and but I'll, I'll, it's most of it is. It, it, you know, like I said, it's uh, the experience. Um, a lot of guys in the league watching guys block shots in the NHL, you see them do anything, they give up their body. Yeah. But basically, you know, don't go into a shot head first. Or oh, for sure. You know, what I do most of the time, I go, you know, with my one, one knee, you know, right. my right knee and, you know, trying to stay in the lane, trying to, like, get my, you know, get my face out of the way a little bit. But, you know, it's the experience, you know, that's. That's why you know Satsi is so good at it. You know he's older guy. You know he he he's played I don't know 15 seasons and yep. you know he's excellent at that. 
Okay. All right, laddie. Thank you for the tip. Uh, Laura in Calgary asks, what do you like to do in Edmonton on your days off? Uh, and what do you do after a loss to put yourself in a better mood? Days off? Uh, I'm usually, you know, hanging out with my fiance and my doc. Uh, you usually go for, you know, for some, uh, for some movie and then, then dinner, you know, just to relax. And yeah, after a loss, I just like to hang out, you know, either with, with, with my boys, you know, from the team um, or, or with my doc. I, you know, I absolutely adore my doc. It's just a little thing and, uh, you know, just uh, she she uh, she makes me smile every time I look at her. What kind of dog do you have? Is it just a puppy? It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, well, it's it's like a, li a really small snuggly dog. It's a mix of Havanese and Yorkie. And uh, if the name, if you don't mind. Jazz, Jasmine. Jasmine, yeah. okay, all right. Uh, next question comes in from Calgary, from Keeley. What why did you choose to be a defenseman rather than a forward? Actually, when I was uh, when I was uh, younger, I uh, I started as a forward, as a centerman. But in like a second or third grade, they they put me in, uh, you know back in defense because uh, my my father used to play uh, hockey uh, in, in Czech. Mm -hmm. He actually yo he had a pretty good career and he was a defenseman. Everybody knew about it, so that's that was one of the reasons they put me back there. Okay, uh, we're gonna wrap this up right away. A couple more questions. Uh, one from Danny, he says, hey laddie, who is the toughest player you have played against in your entire career? And uh, he follows up, up with, who's your best bud on the team? That's from Danny in Edmonton. Okay, so, uh, toughest player to play against. We face Calgary a lot, you know, and, and Jerome McGinley is, is pretty, you know, pretty, really good player you know he uh he's a two-way a two-way player he plays hard you know it's it's really it's, it's really hard to play against him you know and he's got a great shot he he, he knows you know where to be on the ice and you know, how to create chances and so he's uh he's tough to play against and best buddy on the team tom gilbert you know he's my little beep <laughs> <laughs> all right last question for you laddie uh, this one coming in from miriam in kitchener she says hi laddie are you ever going to get your teeth fixed? There's uh, lately there, there have been <laughs> lots of questions. Uh, I got lots of questions about that. I don't know why. I, I think that's my image. You know, I mm -hmm. think it looks sick. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna be forced. I'm getting married uh, this upcoming summer, and my fiance is all over me. And some of the guys are too. And probably I'm just gonna get some like the flippers and. You know, just for for a short short period period of the time. So a uh, temporary fix for the wedding, and yeah, then over time, get rid of it. You know, like it's, we take so many shots, you know, with the stick or puck. You know, it's it's not worth it to fix it now. A true blue hockey player, Lattice Lash Meet. Laddie, thank you for your time. Certainly appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Any, anything for you guys, man. <laughs> thank you, Laddie, and thank you the, to the fans for all the questions. We'll of course be back next month with another edition of Ask an Oiler, presented by Ford.